Ice Climbers vs. Marth is a classic zoner vs. grappler matchup. Icy's have arguably the most devastating grab punishes in the game, while Marth has massive hitboxes such as forward air and down tilt to keep Icy's at bay. I personally love playing this matchup as Marth struggles to combo and kill both Popo and Nana efficiently compared to other characters such as Peach, Fox, or Captain Falcon, so you get to play a lot of neutral. The two main moves you have to learn to deal with as Ice Climbers in this matchup are forward air and down tilt. The basic Marth game plan is to spam these two moves, creating a wall that stops any forward movement from Ice Climbers, stuffing their grab and inferior hitboxes. A large portion of this guide will revolve around beating these two moves. To beat forward air, the first thing you need to do is start implementing crouch cancelling instead of just shielding or trying to beat fair with a move. Crouch cancel dash grab at low percent is a fantastic option to reversal a situation where Marth would otherwise be able to just hit you with multiple moves or easily space aerials on your shield. Another great option versus Marth forward air is blizzard. Use Blizzard to cover the area that Marth lands in after doing a short hop fair. This makes it much more awkward for Marth to space his forward airs and will allow you to get more CC grabs. I highly recommend learning how to dash dance desync Blizzard to more easily space your Blizzard in neutral. Down tilt is Marth's other primary zoning move. There are two main ways to deal with this move. The first is to utilize Blizzard. For Marth to down tilt, he must be standing at a spacing directly in front of Icy's that Blizzard covers extremely well. Down tilt is also a grounded move, meaning that if Marth gets hit by it, it's much harder to DI out of than if he gets hit while in the air. Again, Dash Dance Desync Blizzard is the best way to set up a properly spaced Blizzard versus Marth down tilt. Another strong option versus down tilt is Icy's forward air. Think of forward air as Ice Climber's version of Falcon Stomp, just the way worse version. Still, Icy's fair can be used to jump over Marth down tilt and start a combo or a tech chase. This is particularly useful when the Marth player is doing multiple down tilts in a row, or doing it out of shield when the Marth is spacing down tilt on your shield. A really important thing to keep in mind when fighting Marth is that while it can be hard to open him up in neutral, it can also be hard for him to find big openings versus Icy's as well. Depending on who's in the lead, the roles in this matchup can somewhat reverse. When you have the lead, don't be afraid to play defensively and force him to work for his openings in neutral. Keep a blizzard out in front of you to force the Marth to attack from different angles than directly in front of you, which is where the Marth is most comfortable. Poke with ice blocks and be content with slowly building a lead. Don't wave dash forward with a smash attack too often, as this is an approach that loses to way too many of his basic options to be consistently good. Only start shielding heavily if you notice the Marth really likes to forward smash. If not, then it's almost always better to use crouch cancelling or movement. Shielding too much makes it too easy for him to space moves and leaves us with no way to punish. Good Marth players will also start to abuse his fast throws versus Icy's that shield too much. Try using back throw when you have a grab in center stage to extend combos with a tech chase on a platform. It can be hard to find guaranteed punishes versus Marth in the center of the stage, so it's important to have as many mix-ups as possible at your disposal. This can also be used as a DI mix-up with down throw forward smash. Try to abuse the fact that Marth is weak off the ledge. Place a blizzard in front of the ledge to abuse his poor ledge dash invincibility. This will often lead to a guaranteed handoff sequence. For stage picks, I always go to FD. After that, I'll pick Pokemon Stadium. I'm also a big fan of picking Yoshi's Story because it's alpha.